Good morning. My name is Nenad Duplancic and I am President and CEO of Locus Technologies, headquartered in San Francisco, California. I am honored to present at this prestigious event and I want to thank my colleague Dr. Davos Kurlitz for inviting me to be part of this timely event. I must say I am not an oil geologist and I am not an expert on offshore drilling. I am a civil and environmental engineer turned entrepreneur in software business. What I do know a lot about are environmental impacts and consequences of oil and gas usage. My company helps energy companies better manage and report their pollution data stemming from oil exploration and other energy intensive industries. My entire career over the last 30 years in the US has been devoted to dealing with environmental consequences and impacts of energy production of any type. The company I have started in Silicon Valley is a software company that manages massive amounts of data and information originating from industrial pollution of water, air and soil. Slowing the climate change requires reducing the amount of greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere, not opening up new sources of carbon. In, it is troubling to see the Croatian government pushing the, to expand offshore drilling in Adriatic without proper studies and preparation, especially as world scientists are sounding the alarm about climate change and need to phase out fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels is what got us to, on the brink of climate change, so it makes no sense to double down on oil and gas development when other options exist. Offshore drilling comes with huge risks for Adriatic, its pristine beaches and wildlife. An oil spill in a place like Adriatic would be devastating for rich fishing industry of Croatia and Italy. I will now address several questions that, that, that relate to offshore drilling and its, and its consequences, particularly in Adriatic. The first one is, what actions are necessary before one starts investigation for uh, oil exploration? Numerous actions are necessary before one starts offshore investigation. Almost none of these actions have been taken by the Croatian government so far. Some of common preparatory steps are a baseline assessment of existing flora and fauna at and around the potential areas of investigation and exploration, a risk assessment, environmental impact report, feasibility study, geological and geotechnical study of ocean floor and sediments, onshore infrastructure to service platforms, onshore resources, hazardous waste disposal and treatment facilities, which do not exist in Croatia, for example, establish a regulatory framework for environmental protection and waste disposal if in one does not exist in a country, and perform a survey of, of historic shipwrecks and sunken cities in the area of drilling. The next question is, what are the specific issues in Adriatic? Adriatic Sea is close sea and any spill in Adriatic would be devastating to local fishing and tourism industry. Also, majority of Croatian GDP comes from the tourism and any damage to ecosystem of Adriatic would have devastating impact on the economy, not only in Croatia, but also in Italy, Slovenia, Montenegro and potentially other Mediterranean countries down from the spill. One incident like the one that occurred in 2010 in Gulf of Mexico that is 12 times larger than Adriatic would be enough to destroy the ecosystem in relatively small and enclosed Adriatic Sea and kill tourism and fishing industries. Uh, let's take a look what, uh, what other technologies that are used in drilling have impact on uh, environment. Offshore drilling operations create various forms of pollution that have considerable negative effects on marine and other wildlife. Almost in every step of the, pro of the process there is a potential for contamination. Let's start with drilling, effects of drilling mats. The drilling mats remove the cuttings that come from the bottom of the oil well and help prevent blowouts acting as a sealant. Drilling mats contain toxic metals such as lead, chromium, zinc, arsenic, mercury, as well as carcinogens such as benzene, radioactive materials and other contaminants that are discharged into the sea. There are different types of drilling mats used in oil drilling operations, but all, re all of them release chemicals that can affect marine life, whether oil-based or water-based. 
they contain, they contain highly toxic chemicals. One drilling platform normally discharges more than 19 tons of drilling fluids and metal cuttings into the sea in its uh, lifespan. Drilling activity around oil gas is suspected to contribute to elevated levels of mercury in fish. Uh, let's look at the effects of produced water. Produced water is fluid trapped underground and brought up with oil and gas. It makes up about 20% of the waste associated with offshore drilling. Produced waters usually have an oil content of 30 to 40 parts per million. Other effects of exploration. Factors other than pollutants can affect marine wildlife as well. Exploration for offshore oil involves firing air guns to generate seismic waves that can kill fish and marine life, damage the hearing capacity of various marine species, and may lead to marine mammal strandings. We have already seen some of that happen in Croatia during the recent seismic explorations. It is important to note that more drilling mats and fluids are discharged into the, into the sea during exploratory drilling than in developmental drilling because exploratory wells are generally deeper, they are drilled slower, and they are larger in diameter. Other effects of uh, offshore oil rigs. Offshore oil rigs may also attract and kill seabirds by physical collisions or by incineration by the flare and oil from leaks. Rigs cause navigation problems and, and, uh, and, and present uh, collision hazards. Flares generate black carbon that contributes to, to climate change and air pollution. There are, issue, there are also issues with, uh, with uh, uh, invasive species that may not exist at the uh, site of drilling before, before it commences. The response to seabed fauna to contaminants has been shown to follow established patterns in which there may be high individual abundance of a few species close to the source of contamination due to the organic enrichment effect or a reduced number of individual species close to the installation. Let's talk about malfunction of platforms. Among all the undertakings in the world, offshore drilling could rank as one of the riskiest ventures. Frequent malfunctions are very common. We have witnessed several spectacular oil spills over the last 25 years. The biggest one was the disastrous Deepwater Horizon rig blowout in 2010 that released approximately 200 million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico and so far costed $40 billion to clean up contam contaminated beaches and coastal wetlands. It killed birds, fish and marine mammals, devastated the recreation fishing-based economies in the Gulf states. But even bigger impact may be continuous emissions from operation uh, of the platforms to the sea, to the sea bottom, and to the air around them. Let's answer the question if there is any difference between exploration and exploitation of oil versus gas. The same drilling rigs are used when drilling for oil and gas. Well completion methodologies will, will differ as will production facility requirements. As far as it as an um, environmental impact during investigation and exploration from gas or oil wells, there is practically no difference. Most of oil wells produce some natural gas and most gas wells produce some oil and, and, and or natural gas condensate. In most, all in most all cases, the natural gas is, is a byproduct of producing oil. Just like taking the lid of a bottle of Coca-Cola produces a gas and liquid. Rigs that are designed to get natural gas will have pipelines to the shore to transport it back because the volumes they will be collecting will be sufficient enough to make it profitable. In Adriatic, this creates another environmental problem, pipelines. Particularly in the middle and the south part of Adriatic, it would be difficult to build pipelines and gas only. Exploration could be as damaging uh, as oil exploration in the case of Adriatic Sea. So that concludes my uh, presentation. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.